When it's time for you to update your officers after your nominating committee has met, um, you want to pull up your church organization. I think yours will come up um, because you only have access to your church. So, but I don't have, I have all of them. So, um, this is where you would put in the new officers right here at this file. So, you want to go over here and you want to say new office. You probably will have, there's no officers listed here at all. You will probably have officers listed in your church, but let's just say your brand new church. So, you want to hit new office and we're first going to say that how come it doesn't say this is like a, a school why is it coming up at school why is it coming up because it is a school Okay, so we're going to look up Auburn Academy Church. Okay, we want to make sure we click on the church. And we have several people listed here that are currently officers. Now, if you, um, let's say we just got a new associate pastor brand new we can go over to the new office tab we can click on that and we're going to say associate pastor uh, we don't need a custom title for the officer's name we can select and let's just use our friend George Silver let's see if he still comes up or if we already transferred him want to search and there's George so he's still going to he is going to be our new associate pastor we want to click on his name and then we want to select so it'll come up that he is the new associate pastor now we want to go over here and save so now George Silver is listed as one of your associate pastors if you're changing uh, the pastor Let's click on right here for pastor. And it will let you select a person, whoever that new person is going to be, it'll come up. You will hit save and it will put that. So if you have the same offices as you did last year, but there's just some changes, you can actually just click on this office title, whichever that is. You can click on that if your clerk is changing, select person for who the new person is and you go ahead and save. Um, in order for you to be able to put the officers in your church they need to be members of your church otherwise you won't be able to select them they won't come up. Um, so on the right side that's where you would select a new office and on the left side is where you would just fill that in. If you have had three associate pastors and now you only have one associate pastor. You would go over here to the right side where it says delete. You would click on that delete. So George Silver is not any longer and you would say yes. And you would say Jay Coon is not any longer and you would say yes. So that's how you take the, if you want to take the office out, you hit delete. Um, that's how you update that. It's really important when your nominating committee finishes uh, that we have an updated list at all times of who your uh, officers are in the church. So this is an important part of updating your church.